boy. Beat it, doofus. You slapped his head backwards. Hey guys, it's Kim, and today we're going to be doing a commentary on a Goofy movie, which was actually my most requested commentary, because you guys seem to really like the Extremely Goofy movie commentary, which is my favorite of the two, because obviously I have grown up with it, I have nostalgia with it. And I've only seen bits and pieces of this one, which I heard is superior. We'll see about that. <laughs> it might be controversial to talk about that up in here. I mean, I know certain things like Powerline, his song is great, I've heard that before. Uh, Roxanne, gorgeous. Only thing is, this movie's lacking Sylvia and Beret Girl, so I don't know. Um, I've seen parts of this before. I saw it actually on Thanksgiving, some of it like two years ago. And I've always wanted to see the whole thing, so I'm excited to do it. If it is Thanksgiving, I want to say Happy Thanksgiving to you guys. Without any more delay, let's get into a Goofy Movie Commentary. <laughs> yes, it's yell! So I'm like, you better bring it, honey. Oh no, why do I feel like this is a dream sequence? Mom, Phineas and Ferber trying to create a dream sequence! <laughs> Are you good? They said blondes have more fun, but I'm telling you redheads, something else. Talking Jean Grey, MJ. <gasps> What's wrong? Okay, it's one of those embarrassing dreams. <laughs> You're becoming your father. <laughs> oh no, it's a growth spurt. Avert your eyes. <laughs> Ew. I'm going through puberty. <laughs> oh, look at that Mickey Mouse phone. I like that. And power line poster. Hold on. Oh no. How that happened? Good morning, son. Whoa. He's a power line stan. He has like a figurine too. It's only power line, Dad, the biggest rock star on the planet. It sounds lit from what I've heard of it, yeah. Ooh. Very 90s with this guitar riff. Okay. But first of all, people do not laugh. Since I can remember. You're singing? But they're not gonna laugh anymore. This is a musical hold up. After today, she'll be mine. This is giving grease, isn't it? No. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> I wish that this was the day after today. I wonder if I'll the song grow on me if I keep editing. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. I just uh, died. Like, nice there, I would. Humana, 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 in that form. It's just... Oh, is this the last day of school assembly? Yo, Stacy! Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me, baby! Ew. <laughs> I feel like an armchair, actually. This is gonna be a disaster. The music's slamming, though. Even me, me, machine. Some people settle for the typical thing. Living all their lives waiting. Oh, why does this remind me of Chuck E. Cheese performances with those animatronics? I straight up did not look at them whenever I walked by them. They scared me. And there goes the disaster. Oh, look at those mirror shades. Get your girl. A little smoke gauge. Do it, do it. Stop and take a look at me instead of just. No, you're not moonwalking. Okay. Yes, Michael Jackson! <laughs> There's nothing that I wouldn't do if it was getting you to notice. It's so ballsy of him to do this in the first place. I like this sequence. And he had a moment. He saw an opportunity and he took it. Is he a photographer for like children or something? I've never known Goofy to do this. Literally traumatizing. Come on, Kimmy, give me a big. <laughs> That's 
that's an occupational hazard I didn't know. You swallow a rubber ducky. Oh, you have such a way with children. Meanwhile, I'm not a little kid anymore. Now just leave me alone and get, get your, your own, own life. life. I mean, Goofy, I always liked him, honestly. He will step to you if he has to. Oh, hello, precious. <laughs> Go! This is an SOS. Mm -mm. That's their parents' responsibility to be taming that. Robert Zimaruski. His name's Robert. Bobby. Makes sense. Guard this with your life, dude. Burn it. Put it in the incinerator. It's nasty. Roxanne, are you listening? Mm. Yes, no, I don't want it. So cute. Really? Oh my gosh, this is like Sylvia and Goofy. It's so sad that they Roxanne wasn't in the second movie. I ask you to <coughs> go with me, that is, to the party. Of course, if you don't want to, I'd completely understand. Let her say yes. <laughs> I'd love to. Yeah? <gasps> I like her voice too! <laughs> She's like, child, I don't get paid enough for this. Oh uh, yes, Mr. Goof. This seems so dramatic, and for what? Your son caused the entire- What? ...to break into a riotous frenzy! You really call him a hoodlum, basically. If I were you, Mr. Goof, I'd seriously reevaluate the way you're raising your child before he ends up in the electric chair! He did a performance, outsold with that performance. Your speech just did not compare, you're jealous. So you're being petty. That's all it is. Your little speech was not exciting. It didn't give what it was supposed to give. No, he gets the idea to do a fishing trip from here. If we bond, like maybe he'll be on the right track. Nothing like the great outdoors to strengthen the bond between father and son. Here we go. And those nuns, they're like, this wouldn't happen in the nunnery. How do you solve a problem like Maria? I got whatever it takes. This is the fit. It's a piece of cake. <laughs> Oh, this is where his skateboarding thing came from. <laughs> was that baby about to stick a fork in the outlet? Child Protective Service, CPS. Call CPS. It's a vacation with me and my best buddy. Oh, Donald Duck? <laughs> yeah, he's not in these movies. With you. It's like Goofy, read the room. I know we're outside, but read the room. <laughs> Just like I did at your age. Please don't say that, Dad. Oh, yeah, because he's had fears of becoming him, yeah. It's been handed down from goof to goof to goof. And now, your son. The thing is, like, not everyone's into fishing. It's just the way it is. This belongs to Walter Goofy. What does that say? The map says, Max, we will follow. That's going to come into play. He's going to be, like, tweaking with the map. So it leads him to Los Angeles. He's going to get to the concert. Guess we'll just have to go... All alone. We're trying to go on a road trip, not a guilt trip. Together, we're gonna... I kind of get where he's going with that, like, taking my son, bond with him. Get him on the straight and narrow because he'll want to be like me, but those are like these two conflicting ideas. Wanting to be opposite of Goofy and Goofy wanting him to be like him. Goodbye, hopes. Goodbye, dreams. Oh. Here lies Squidward's hopes and dreams. You get to cancel your first date in less than an hour. Could have just told him that you had a date. You would have been hardcore trying to creep on your date, but wrong house. <laughs> Wait, it's okay, Wait. Daddy. Max is a friend from school. Aww. <laughs> Go on. He's so protective. Aww. It's the little things like that. Boy, get out of the mail slot. He's waiting for Amazon packages. See, my dad's on this stupid father-son kick and... Well, don't worry about it, Max. It's just a dumb party. You don't have to tell me. Don't tell me this is a misunderstanding being gonna ruin everything. My dad's taking me to the Powerline concert in L.A. Yay. Your dad's taking you clear across the country just to see a concert? That's so cool! It's not so far-fetched to go across the country to a concert. People do that. I could, uh, wave to you on stage when we join Powerline for the final number. See, you already messed up, and then you go and embellish it further, like... Mwah. Already? Okay, Miss Thing! Yo, say hi, Max! And road trips aren't as... they don't slap if you don't have, like, a Game Boy or a DS or anything like that. Like, I love bringing that or bringing books to read or reading fan fiction on the road trips. Like, that's so fun. Cassette tape. Ruin! Great dad, now we don't have any music. Better start humming. <laughs> Their generational gap, like it shows clashing, which is good. Fodder for a story, actually. Need a break from modern living. Okay, yeehaw. 
Dude, you'll be reckless driving. That's like how many points on your license? Keep it up. I'm in no hurry to arrive because I'll be. Oh, I've actually driven by a prison bus before. Yeah, ridden by one. Those are real. Oh. Oh, he's imagining him right, right. Thinking he's gonna end up in prison if he doesn't turn him around. California, New York, Boston. Hey, cameo? What is going on? Why don't you just give me the map? Navigating's a big responsibility. You know, the driver is not supposed to navigate at the same time. That's what the passenger person is for. Gorge. That's even better than I remembered. Howdy, folks! I told y'all I don't like animatronics. It's on site. A few moments later. Girl, have you heard of orthodontist? Do you know the word braces? I know it's expensive, but... Please! Who's your favorite possum? Becca! <laughs> Mind your business, that's all. Mind your business. Don't touch me. <laughs> me, though. Don't touch me. Good inside. Boy. Beat it, doofus. He slapped him. He slapped his head backwards. <laughs> and they dragged him. <sighs> he should have just jumped through the window like... <laughs> Max, I'm trying to get away from you. Me? Not you being an angsty teenager right now. No. Oh, you dropped your hat. You drive me from home, you jam me in this dumb car, then drive a million miles away to see some stupid rat show. How's the window down all of a sudden? You couldn't jump through the window before? I mean, Goofy is trying. It's just like... You can't do what you only like to do or what you remember him like wanting to do when he was younger. You have to actually meet him in the middle and see what he's into now. Oh, I don't know what my child's interested in, but I care about what I'm interested in. And then the child has to be like, no, it's not my dream. It's yours. So this is love. No good at all to see self and not recognize your face. When will my reflection Hey, Max. Symbolic, isn't it? What? Oh, no. Is it Pete? In the bowling alley. Turned in my bedroom into a bowling alley. Is PJ here? I'm sure he's loafing around here somewhere. Even if you got the shot out But I wouldn't mind having this RV. It is dope. You're not supposed to tap on the glass, bro. Look, if you keep them under your thumb, they'll never end up in the gutter. Because you'll crush them, smothering them. <laughs> wow. That pin played you for a fool. Oh, knock it over. The perfect cast. You mean like this? You gotta be loose. With your feet apart. Knees together. Ten o'clock. Two o'clock, quarter to three. He's gonna hook on something else, like a tree or something. He the wind up! Or the snake. Wow. And there's like marble in it too, like that part is so good. Bigfoot? Bro, where you been? Oh yeah, it's just so normal by the way that Bigfoot's here. <laughs> hey, I don't wanna miss this. <laughs> He's a vlogger back then before. <laughs> Got my first catch, guys. Caught Bigfoot in me day. Bigfoot. He should have vlogged that too. That would have actually gotten views. <laughs> Running away from Bigfoot. Highly emotional. And I got the only video. Yeah, it's gonna get broken. Mm -hmm. Let's just get out of here. You don't have the keys. <laughs> Sometimes it's painful to just watch this happen. Well, let's go. We're gonna get in this movie. My dad's soup. You used to spell things out using the letters, like, uh, I love you. Oh, hey. Your granddad taught me that. You two did a lot together, huh? That's also why he wants to spend so much time with you, because he misses his father. My Dad, dad listen, I'm sorry. Good soup. Oh, crud, I forgot about Bigfoot. He was jamming, what's wrong? The song stopped? No, he's chill, because the song. <laughs> Hey, 
He just so happened to have the exact letters he needs. Okay. It's Loki Q, but... <laughs> Dear Roxanne, couldn't sleep. Thought I'd drop you a line. Drop you a line like fishing. I can hardly wait for the big concert. You should have just told her. You should have come clean. Come clean. So she said, I'm having to go on my this road trip. Like, that's all you had to say. Like, I have no choice because I'm literally a minor. I'm sorry I lied. But I'm not really going to the Powerline concert. Oh. oh, this is when it happens. And I remember Goofy got livid. Like, I like the certain parts I have seen in this movie. And even the lighting is to make it look like, oh, this is the wrong choice, but there you have it. <laughs> Not him almost waking up. <laughs> How many cups of sugar does it take to get to the moon? 20? Three and a half. <laughs> Good answer. How many leaves does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? Let's find out. A one, a two, a three. Is it gonna come back in later to the movie somehow? Yeah, because it got stuck on the branch. Or, it's supposed to be symbolic like the I lied part. Pick up! Hold your horses! Is that Elvis back there? Seems to me you need to start taking some responsibility around here. It's your guilt showing! Official navigator and head witch wearer! Of this here road trip. Ah, uh, so it leaves a choice to him. He could still choose to pick where he's gonna go, or he could change up. This is his chance. You can pick all the stops from here to Lake Destiny. Trust you wholeheartedly, son. Yeah, see, this is what I want. I'm gonna go to Six Flags. Like, I've been to Bush Gardens, I've been to Universal, I've been to Epcot too. I like the, sh the wooden ones too, because they give you that shaky, unstable uh, feeling. It's like, it feels so risky, but. <laughs> out the bed but i love the nautical theme it's seriously cool <laughs> <laughs> don't let him fool you with that buddy buddy act now under your <laughs> thumb oh then again he's kind of right on the low because max is hiding something but he also was like getting into the trip because started doing things he likes to do too bj <laughs> not you making him your pack mule come on it was really stupid changing the map <laughs> He heard it! Okay, Pete's gonna sabotage, because that's what he lives to do. He lives to mess things up. Taking a break from the MTV generation, huh? <laughs> MTV generation. That kind of aged this movie. You and your son seem to be uh, getting along just hunky-dory, huh? I'm about to end this man's whole career. He changed the map, so you're heading straight to L.A., pal. I don't believe you, Pete. He broke his heart too. For what? Max should have come clean on his own though. Shouldn't have been like finding out secondhand. Maybe Max isn't all the things that you think a son should be, but he loves me. Hey, my son respects me. Yeah, he fears you. He doesn't respect you. There's a huge difference. If you go too far with it, then you're gonna push your child away and they're gonna resent you and not want to be around you. The dramatic moment. Who's gonna be eliminated from the competition? <laughs> Hey, Dad. Sorry about the mess. I'll, I'll clean it up. And like, Max is all Goofy has. He doesn't have really anyone else at all. You turn this man's world upside down. Oh, this is the moment. Which way does he go? I don't remember, actually. Oh, I think he's leaving it to Max. This is your moment to decide. Well, here you go, Navigator. Just follow my route on the map, son. He's giving him a chance to turn around. I actually don't know what happens. <laughs> Why is this so intense? For what? Okay, Max, now this is it. Left or right? Uh, Come on, Max! Uh, right. Ah! Oh, he still chose his way. Wow. Oh my! <clears throat> you can't even bear to be in the same car as him. He's seething. Will you listen to me? I gotta tell you something, Dad. I'm probably too stupid to understand anyway, right? <sighs> Forget it. Y'all, if, if you communicated properly, this wouldn't have happened. <laughs> the car! Look! 
vultures are waiting to seize them. You see those vultures watching like, next meal? It is Thanksgiving after all. No. It's your door, you locked it. No, the skateboard's gone. Y'all are destroying the canyons. I'm not your little boy anymore, Dad. I've grown up. Yeah, he did have to relearn this in the second movie, yeah. So it's like, why are they going through this again? No matter how big you get, you'll always be my son. This kitchen's not the same. And he's nobody else. But why are you? Ah, oh, Dad. <sighs> to do now is to get you up on stage with this power line filler. <laughs> you should not be enabling him lying, though. You should not be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to help you make this lie believable. Oh, y'all going over. Fishing. Oh. So staying focused on your goal! I said it was a fishing pole. This is so ridiculous. It's kind of heartfelt, even though this is so dramatic. Perfect cast. Oh, he had water, like tears in his eyes. This has been one crazy vacation. And it's not over yet. He's, he has a sold out arena. Okay, Taylor Swift. I was looking forward to this song. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, the colors, the neon. I got myself in motion. I know. Reminds me of Michael Jackson. Long. Oh, yeah, I remember this part. Oh, this is like when they did a performance on Band Geeks of Spongebob. Dad, Dad, do the perfect cast! Trying to show him up. He doesn't care though. He's with it. <laughs> this is honestly my favorite part of the movie. I like other parts, but this is my favorite. She'll probably never talk to me again. If she doesn't, maybe she's just not the one for you. Oh yeah, him first. You gotta go through me. I, I never met him before. The concert, that is. Why would you make up something like that? To impress you. I guess I just wanted you to like me. I already do, Max. I already liked you, Max. I called it. <laughs> From the very first time I heard you laugh. A yuck. <laughs> I always like that laugh though. Get a new car. It's time. I mean the back scrunched up now too. Dino mine! Roxanne, I'd like you to meet my dad. <laughs> this is such a cute movie, I liked it. Thank you guys for watching this commentary. I had a lot of fun doing this movie. Like, I see why it's highly favored with people that a lot of people really like it. But I genuinely love the Powerline songs. Like, Stand... What is it called? Stand something? <laughs> I don't know, I forgot. And Eye to Eye. Like, those are, like, two of the best songs in this entire movie. I like the premise. I like everything. Like, really. It was good. Does it top Extremely Goofy Movie for me? It's hard to be fair with it because obviously Extremely Goofy Movie is ex it's nostalgic. Because I have a bias towards it, you know? I don't care for the extreme games of Extremely Goofy Movie, but I do like pretty much everything else. The soundtrack I like better, even though I like two songs from this movie a lot. I like the 70s soundtrack aspect. But at the same time, this is actually pretty good and I actually would like to watch this movie again at some point. Thank you guys for requesting this commentary. Thank you for watching it, and if it is Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving, and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys, and smile all around.